I just want to say, man, you are fucking awesome. No, 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 no. <laughs> First master canvas, you must tattoo the chest. The judges have chosen a style to test your specific weaknesses. Oh. For your second master canvas, you must tattoo a sleeve. You got it all drawn up right here, ready to go. Traditional black and gray style, we got a lot of work to do. These judges think that they could stump me up with some black and gray fine line? Come on, I'm gonna kill this thing. Let's get to work, man. I'm so over this standing round bull. I'm not gonna go super big. I'm gonna go super technical because that's gonna win me the title. For the second time, Clean Rock won. Come on up, dude. The judges assigned you black and gray. Fine line. Oh. Let's hear about that. What's up? <laughs> yeah, basically, you guys assigned me black and gray, and uh, that's not my forte. So I uh, pretty much just looked at the guys that I you know, admire, and I try to do something as uh, close to that as possible. Man, that's a perfect fit. It's almost like I've done this before. I'm in cruise control right now. My color saturation is so bright and bold. It's all 100% Clean Rock One style. Oh, my god. I've been fighting my ass off to get to this moment. Freaking out. I've been through everything twice. I'm not going to let this slip through my hands again. I'm going to win this thing. Clean Rock One. Let's take a look, man. Clean, you got a thing for redheads, it looks like. Yes. Yeah. What do you got there, bud? Talk to us. Tell us about your tattoo, man. Uh, she's a singer, so I really wanted to just kind of give her something that she would love. And, you know, she really loves music. And I just made it 100% Clean Rock One style. Right on. Ollie, thoughts for Clean. Well, Clean, I definitely think that you've got your style in there. You've got this bright color. It really stands strong. It's really saturated. Well, Clean, you did a lot of solid, really tough, really strong, bright tattooing. The sleeve looks really good from a distance. Overall, it's a beautiful sleeve. All right, Clean, thanks, man. Thanks. Today, you must tattoo something so unique that in this courtroom, it can be the difference between a conviction and an acquittal. A fingerprint. This is crazy. At a crime scene, if a latent fingerprint is recovered and a suspect is established, we then compare the two fingerprints to each other, looking for disagreement. If any disagreement is found, then the print is excluded. If I don't nail the detail on this fingerprint and my tattoo is off by one line, the forensic expert, that's her job. She's going to catch it. Clean. It looks very clean. There's a lot of very small details. There's actually the texture of the waves that gives it a real authentic fingerprint look. Detective Gardner, your analysis concluded? This print was definitely a match. He got all the points dead on. The winner of the flash challenge is Clean Rock One. Wow. Team Clean. What subject and style are you assigning the coaches for the first face-off? We have decided to pick American traditional panther heads. I love tattooing panther heads. I know I can do it perfect and fast as hell. Team Christian, the power to choose the second face-off is yours. What's it going to be? We have decided to assign the coaches a color realistic strawberry. We got a an hour, guys. Are we doing that's like completely impossible? <laughs> All right, coaches, you have one hour to tattoo an American traditional panther head, and your time starts now. Mower down. This hour tattoo is perfect for traditional tattooing. We're gonna find out right now who can sink a line one pass flawlessly. Whip, 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 whip. Get ready for your next tattoo. Plenty of time, Clean. These dudes are gonna look tough as with some strawberries blasted on them. You have one hour to tattoo a realistic strawberry, and your time starts now. I knew he was gonna do that. What, cut it now? <laughs> Clean cut the strawberry in half to kind of bypass all the little seeds. Smart, you gotta admit. I'm not gonna admit it. <laughs> The hardest part of color realism is that it's so precise and detailed. Do you want like the avocado color for that? No. See what I'm doing right here? Yeah, you're making a bright ass lime green. I'm a fast tattooer, but Christian's definitely gonna struggle on this tattoo because time is gonna kill him. Three, 
two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up, clean. The outline's strong and the shading's very deliberate. The skin breaks that you have in the furled brow really make this thing lunge forward in correspondence with the muzzle. Clean's drawing, it's just a little more slick. My vote's for clean. Clean. The winner of this face-off is clean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Clean. It's a really smart play, cutting in half the strawberry show in the inner detail looks really nice. The light parts of the strawberry spread out through the redness on the inside, give it a little life. I mean, I like both, but it's hard to deny that there's so much more detail in cleans. I gotta go with clean. I do like cleans, great job. Clean. The winner of this face-off is clean. Yeah. Good job, clean. Yeah, clean. Clean rock one. My canvas is down for anything, so I want to really flex some skills and show these guys that I'm top dog here. Mother That hurt. No, you're good, man. It's needles. It's going to hurt. We're down to seven artists. The stakes are high right now. I'm going to bring all of my abilities, and I'm going to stay so focused that there's no stopping me. For my own personal selfish reasons, I want you to have the best tattoo today. Hey, man, I do too. God, I just want to win. Clean, let's start with you. Well, Clean, I like the placement of this tattoo. It fills up the whole area, the top of the head. You got a lot of nice tones and shades to black, to the brown, to the bronzy yellow. I think it plays really well against this gray shading in the skull. I really like the fact that you took the time to add all kinds of different little details and intricate design elements. You added so much to this design to make it really unique and cool. Winner of best tattoo of the day is Clean. Clean. You were head to head with Don. The fact that you made it a dark graphic image is a very, very smart move. The black is solid. The shade from black to light is smooth. Good, clean, professional tattoo right here. Don. The thing that bothers me the most about this in the center part where those dots are, the two lines coming off those are pretty shaky. It just looks inconsistent. Now it's time to pull the judges between clean and Don. I got to go with clean. I'm going to have to go with clean on this one, too. Overall, craftsmanship, technician, clean. And I'm going to go with clean, too. Congratulations, man. Thank you. I am way more versatile than Eric and Jason put together. That title is mine. There it is. I love it. All right, let's do it. This is the largest color realism tattoo I've ever done, but I'm going to kill it. Clean, come on down, man. Let's take a look. I was given photorealism, and um, you know, my guy's a mechanic, and you know, I'm a gearhead, and uh, we just decided to do some hot rod stuff and a uh, super badass skull. How do you feel that this tattoo fits into the category of color realism? Well, I, uh, I actually uh, used the photograph that I took of the images to uh, translate them to the skin. You, as always, did a very strong, solid application. It has a strong 90s new school feel to me, but you did pull off a lot of tricks in the tools. I don't feel like it's the most photorealism tattoo, but I do feel like it is a very strong tattoo for you. Clean, you won the flash challenge. You now have the power to assign the human canvases. And this competition is always changing. So seize this opportunity for control. I'm gonna take control of this. I'm gunning for the newbies. They've been trying to screw me over since I got here. Now it's payback. So what are we doing? I want a Venetian mask that's nature inspired, that has butterflies and flowers all around it. Clean rock one. Ooh, oh, that's nice. nice. How is the artist that was next to you? Well, she's not there anymore. Some of these guys, they start out and they only want to tattoo their style. But I mean, that's the thing. I'm not shocked by anything that's thrown at me. I won the flash challenge. Now I'm going to win the elimination tattoo. I got so much detail in this tattoo, there is not one single person crazy enough to do it like I'm doing it. Give me any style, I'm going to rock it. Clean. This tattoo has so much detail that it looks like I could take my finger and run it across, and I would feel all the bumps and I would feel all the ridges. The shadow from the vine that cast onto the mask, amazing little touches of detail there. The details in the rows, the softness of the shadow all around. The main challenge was detail, and you hit it. Fitting the challenge, hitting a Venetian mask, also hitting the detail. Obviously, Clean has one of the strongest tattoos of the day. Runaway right train. Going with Clean. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to clean. I think this is great. 
Yeah. The layout is beautiful, it's simple. I use the same goofy anatomy as far as the drawing goes, but. That's his deity. He's supposed to be pleasant and jolly. I love that. I know. The pressure of the competition is so high, and it's definitely getting to some people. Basilica's doing a samurai warrior. I just learned what a deity is, and 100% the definition is not just a samurai warrior. Traditional Japanese? Yeah. Black Cobra needs to worry about going home. For a sun goddess, this black moon in the background definitely isn't hitting the challenge. If backwards hands don't get you sent home, I don't know what will send you home. How's it going? It's going good. There's a pretty hilarious thing in one of the <laughs> tattoos. Let's see if you spot oh, really? it. really? Yeah. You tell me what you think. I'm going to do a pose really quick. This. You'll see it. Dare I say bulletproof? I think bulletproof is appropriate. That thing's badass. Oh. Hey, guys. How do y'all feel like y'all did? Uh, awesome. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are y'all going to do about those backwards thumbs? That's how he holds his hands. Every single depiction, he's palms yeah, in. Yeah, see how yours are in the front? They're goofy-ass hands. Intentionally goofy. Yeah, it's a goofy-ass fat dude. With thumbs on the wrong side of his hands. That was intentional? It's an illustration of a fictional character. Clean, I know that you're very charming, and I hope that you can charm the judges into believing yours. why your hand is backwards. All right, bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs> bye. Look at his bye. asshole. Look, you're pretty Bye. Right. You did it right. You, you totally, Bye. we should have just used you as reference. See y'all later. <laughs> Clean. You didn't go crazy in details, but there's tremendous detail in it. You did a lot of repetitive things, only they don't repeat themselves. Each section of the beads is different. It gives more of an artistic feel. I tried to change up a little bit as I went, just so it wasn't so stiff. This is a strong tattoo. Thanks. The winner of the best tattoo of the day is clean. Thank you. I've already done this two other times and failed. This is the last shot I've got. I have to make sure that my tattoo speaks louder than anyone's. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. It's so sick, dude. I want to do something that Ink Master has never seen before, and that is a full chest, full rib panel, all the way down onto a leg. I'm trying to write history, and I'm trying to win this competition. I'm in. Let's do it. I put my all and my everything into this tattoo, and I don't think it could get any better. This snake is about to go eat a rat, and that rat is Christian. All right, clean, you're up. All right. It is solid from top to bottom. You do have a lot of breathability. You do have a lot of open skin. The anatomy of the snake is perfect. Every little scale has that little break in it. This thing's massive. This is the biggest thing we've seen on Ink Master. I was like, you know what? We're going balls to the wall. Just if I'm looking at weight of tattoos, I got to go with Clean Rock One. Oh, my heart! Chris, that means? <laughs> It is all on you, my friend. It's always been the same thing, and it's been the tattoo that looks heavy. And it's just the application and what I think, for me, really holds. And as tough as this is, I'm going to go clean. Yeah!